What's up, boss fam? It's the Lady PB. I am back, y'all. And today, I'm really, really excited because hopefully my DTF journey is about to start. So, I got everything, y'all. We got a printer over here. This printer is the Epson Photo Stylus. No, Epson Stylus Pro. 3800 it is a used printer that i have gotten as a gift and so we're going to try to see if we can convert it i want to convert it and see so that i can tell you guys my experiences firsthand and i want y'all to come along the journey with me as i do this so the first thing that i need for this printer I need to convert, change out these cartridges. These are the cartridges that came with the printer. And these are Epson cartridges. So, of course, we need to change these out. This says 06-2009. These are the original cartridges. For this particular printer, you cannot throw away these original cartridges because you need these chips. These little chips here on, on the back, we need those chips. Well, it's on that side. We need that chip. So I've got the chips. And I've got the cartridges out. And well, I've got most of them out. And we're going to replace those, take those out. But first, I'm going to show you the cartridge set that I purchased. So I got this in from Try the E. Um, and they do have cartridges that are just small like this. But I decided to go big time. So basically, I'm going to put this cartridge in to replace this one and look at all the extra ink and room that I'm going to have. These cartridges will reset themselves, automatically keep themselves full, reset themselves, right? So that's the cool thing. And I won't have to ever take the cartridge out of the printer. So I decided to go with this one because what will happen is this top, let me hold that down. I'll lift the top up and put the cartridges in here. And then whenever I need to pour ink in it, I can just use my spout and just put more ink in it. So that makes sense. And I think it was worth spending the extra little bit of money to get it. So this came with nine cartridges all together. Came with nine cartridges. I got nine little what do you call these you know i can't think of the name but i got nine of these also to fill the um to fill the cartridges so i got those now y'all i did not know that these automatically reset so i did order a chip resetter off of amazon and i could have saved myself 30 bucks from ordering this chip had I just waited on these and even when I got the chip this chip was defective and I made it work uh, but I did have to cut a piece off and then right there it's some stuff missing so uh, one of the prongs were kind of messed up but that to what I got right so I ordered this stuff from Ink Pro today um, it was 139. I actually am a affiliate, so I use my own product code, and I got it for 120. Let's see, with my discount, I got I say 14 dollars, so it was 125.95 once I got it, and that was the price with the tax included. So. If you decide to purchase this and you use the product code Latana Robertson and the link that I give you to purchase it with, you'll save 10%. I believe it's 10%, uh, but it's $14 off of this set, right? You'll save off of this set. Now, I was a bit concerned because in my mind, I was like, what am I going to do about this door? Because it says ink cover open. Well, I didn't have to worry about that because after I opened this up, they give you this little plug, which is a door lid that we're going to put in here. And then it gives you the instructions to on how to install everything. Now, I've already installed 
one cartridge and got ink all over mine, but I'll tell you what it says. So basically what I have to do, how we have to start is we're going to move all of this stuff out of the way because we've got to take these chips off and put the new chips on. So let's see what color we have here and we can just use either one because it doesn't really matter. I want to take y'all on my journey with me. So this color is the light, light black. And I'm going to pull out the light, light black cartridge and just make sure that both have the same, say the same thing on. Them. And then we're going to take this chip off and put it on here. So as I got this and I started looking, it tells you that this chip comes uh, separately in the instructions, but it's actually already onto the cart. So we have to take it off of the cart. And the way that I found to do it, because it took me a minute to figure it out, y'all. Let me zoom this video in. Let me zoom it in so that y'all can see. So right here, and I'm going to go on this side, but there is a little place on this side where you can just pop this chip up you see that there's a little place and that might be a better view so i just stuck my screwdriver in there and i could pop that up like that so you pop that up right and so just leave that kind of like that and get that out the way Next, you have to be really, really super careful, and we've got to pry this off. So, I originally, I started with this, and it started kind of breaking them. So, it says to use, like, the eyeglass um, screwdriver, and I don't have one. So, I'm going to use this little utensil. It's really, really small. It came with my... Um, this came with my with the set that I got for the silhouette so let's see I'm gonna put it up on something so that I can work and be real stable and y'all can still see hopefully so I see a little hole there in the back and it says do not touch this chip so I took it and I started prying and so I'm going to try to pry this one up and do the same thing. And I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong, but it is a little bit of a challenge. So they say you get it up under there. And I'm going to have to put it down so I can be flat here. But they say you get up under there and lift it up. So I got it. So you can see it popping up right here. And so you just pop it up and then you pop it up out of there. So I've got it halfway up. And I guess if you're a girl that wears nails, you could probably get this a little bit faster than me. I don't have any. Did put some press-ons on, but was screen printing this week and they just popped right off okay so i got it off it took a little pull i had to do a little pull i just noticed because there's a little thing right here it looks like a little round thing that it was kind of stuck onto so i got this thing off so now let's look and see what i'm supposed to do with it, right I'm just going to sit, sit it there, and then I'm going to read the instructions. So in my instructions, it tells me to turn the chip this way. So I'm going to turn the chip that way, which is this way. And then, what's really going on? What's T right? Okay. So it tells me to... Put my cart in going that way and to put 
So it tells me to put the cartridge in going this way, the same way as this chip. Oh, I dropped 